Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Stock Market Morning Prep video for Friday, March 6th. Big day today. Non-farm payrolls are coming out, 8.30 Eastern Time in the uh, Northeast. Let's see what happens uh, this morning and how the market participants react to those numbers, okay? It's not what the numbers are going to be. Uh, more than likely, they're going to be revised up. Um, coming off of, uh, of the holiday in February, uh, they, they are usually they're, they're lower because of all of the layoffs from the uh, extra help from the holidays, and then they revised up again for March. So um, the numbers should be good. Uh, but now let's just see how the markets react. We are continually trading in this range, as you can see. There is absolutely no movement, guys. I mean, literally, we jumped down the other day and we rallied back up. And now we're just kind of ho ho hovering around here. If you could see this, this is just terrible. And this has been going on since February. And unfortunately, things do change. We don't know when, but things do change, and they change rather quickly. So we need to be cautious, and we need to be patient on our trading. Right? So we don't want to be looking to get chopped up here uh, in this uh, crazy um, price action. Right, We have low volatility, but what happens is we get one move of the day, and then that's pretty much it. You know, That's really not much trading going on right now for the last, uh, let's say, six weeks. So uh, what do we do? Well, we continue to look for patterns. We look for the best trading setups. And if you're specializing in uh, several things, like if you're just trading indices like I like to do, uh, or... Um, special situations maybe a, a, a downgrade or an upgrade you know I would say pick five great ideas for the month or even try to make it for the week but pick five great ideas seasonal trends whatever you're into pick five monitor them since we're slow and then look for entries okay and look for obviously confirmation that your idea is working that's what I'm going to do and that's what I've been doing um, very very quiet but when you're in front of the screens, you're still working. That does not mean that you have to be in a trade. Let's just keep that in mind, okay? Let's run through the indices real quick. You can see here, um, not much of anything on a 10-minute chart. One thing I want to show you, though, uh, what I love to do is the Bollinger Bands on a 30-minute chart. Bollinger Bands are pinching really, really tight. I think we're going to have an expansion of volatility today. Now, it doesn't tell you which direction, and you guys that follow me know that, but um, it will... Uh, definitely tell us that we have volatility that is going to uh, come into the marketplace. So we have these contractions and these Bollinger Bands here and it's starting to curve in. This is telling me that we're waiting for a, a bigger uh, move is coming, a bigger move is coming. Now, I think the non-farm payroll numbers will basically push this market either higher and or lower. We'll see. Um, this local low here is what I'm looking for. 20906 right here, that pivotal low is what I'm looking for. This is important, guys. We break that low, I think we're going to see some more downside, okay? Take a look at the daily chart of the spiders. Um, you could see here, we, we went nowhere. This whole week, we went nowhere. We had one day up. We had a couple of small days down. You can see these little dojis that are just forming, these long-legged dojis, a small hammer. Um, and this is, this is what um, the market is telling you, hey, take a step back. I don't know which way I want to go, but look what's happening with the Bollinger Bands. They're starting to contract. So that means that we're expecting a bigger move here, guys, okay? All right, now let's take a look at the transports. Same thing. Look at the Bollinger Bands here. We have Bollinger Bands contracting here looking for a move. Right? Now we're above the 50. We're below the 20. If the Bollinger Bands and, and what this price action is telling me, this looks like that we're looking for lower prices here. Now, um, you know, this is the transports. It's our leader. But remember, guys, you know, one, one movement out of this band, you know, and I could still call this a bull flag. I mean, it's kind of long, but... Uh, I could still say this is in the bull flag. So if we break out of this bull flag, then obviously we have a confirmation on a closing basis that we have now confirmed a bullish breakout of a bull flag. And this is the transport. So this is the leader. If we start to break below that 50, I'm watching that line at 160, 161. We break below that and close. We're going to be testing that 200 day. And that's not going to be good. Okay. Uh, that coincides nicely with this, uh, this low here. All right. Um, so watch this. This is going to be important today. Russell. Now, Russell here has been pretty strong here it's just uh and it's you know it's kind of ridiculous that they don't like them here they don't like them here and all of a sudden they break out and they like the and they like the other very very difficult to trade the russell um i'm usually staying away from this uh when you get a good movement i mean if you could see here this is look at this this is just nasty trading it's just terrible uh you know one day up next day down it doesn't know where it wants to go it's just 
terrible. But if you look at it, look at the bands again, contracting again, okay? We have pattern recognition. Every band in the Bollinger Bands of the indices that we follow are contracting. That means that I am looking for a big move. Once we get a confirmation on which side this market wants to go, we're picking the trend, we're going to jump on that bandwagon as well. Diamonds, you can see here, same thing, okay? Inside day. We have no movement this week, okay? Uh, Qs, same thing. You see the Bollinger Bands are coming up. Now, the Qs, obviously, technology has been holding in quite well, better than all of the other four indices that, that I just showed you. You could see that. But that we lose that 107, uh, let's call it 108, then I think you're going to test that 20, and then ultimately that 50, okay? Keep that in mind. Write those levels down. I have them posted in my, uh, my little post-it on the side, doing the same thing. Hopefully, guys, we can get some movement here and really start rocking and rolling. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Those of you on the East Coast, be careful. The roads are terrible up here. Take care, everybody.